Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I'm so excited to show you what I've come up with today. My sister-in-law, Jennifer, served a mission for our church in England a couple of years ago, and she brought home a really fun tradition with her. It's called Christmas Crackers. We take these cute little crackers and we break them apart. Um, we love this tradition so much, it would be fun to incorporate into any holiday. So for my idea today, I took th the cute cracker template that I made up and I made them for every holiday that's coming up for your season. So let me show you first one of these crackers that I've made. Here's one, I thought this would be cute for Christmas, but I think it also could go for Thanksgiving because it's kind of that copper, metallic, it's so pretty, this brightly gleaming designer series paper. So a cracker, you hold on both sides and you pull it apart. I'm gonna show you later how to do that. But um, there's little prizes on the inside for your family. There's jokes and there's a cute little paper crown and then there's a little toy. And it says a fun tradition that we've come up with as a family, we really love it. So let me show you the template of how I did this. With the brightly gleaming suite, we have these gleaming ornaments punch pack. And this is the key that you'll want to create your crackers, is this, the smaller ornament out of the punch pack. Bring in my scoring tool here. So I made a couple of different sized ones. I worked with a seven by 10 piece of DSP and a six by six piece of designer series paper. So if you're gonna use a six by six piece, you wanna score at every inch and a half on that and if you do your seven by ten inch piece you want to score at every one and three quarter inch on those and then what you'll do after you've scored it is you'll take your punch you'll line it up right down the middle of your score line and you'll punch it out you want to push the punch all the way in so that it's as far in as it goes on the paper and then your ornaments will line up. So you're gonna do that. You're also gonna do on the side here and on this side here, just like so. So I've started this. This is what your six by six piece would look like. And that you wanna pay attention to the direction. If you have a directional piece of DSP, how your stripes are gonna go or how your ornaments are gonna go because they're gonna fold like this. So you wanna make sure before you start to score it that you're scoring it the right way. So let me punch this side here and I'll show you how to assemble one. Okay, so I've got that punch. Now I'm gonna fold it. You just wanna get your creases really nice and sharp. Make this one red. And you wanna fold it on that so that your paper that you want on the outside is inward, like that. So that's how it's gonna look at the end. I really liked using tear and tape for these. They held together really well and I didn't have to worry about glue smudging on the rest of the project. down your piece of tear and tape and peel it up and then you're going to put this down and it's going to form like a little triangle and then you'll bring this piece up to create your cracker just like that that's what it's going to look like without ribbon at this point you would put your little treats inside all the little things that you wanted for everyone to have and then you'll adorn them with ribbon and other little embellishments so that they're nice and cute for your holiday. So this would be like a Christmas one. And then what we do is we link arms around the table like this, holding your cracker, and we all pull apart. And the one that you end up holding is yours. It's kind of a fun little tradition. We really like it. So let me show you a few of these that I've created using different designer series papers from the holiday catalog. We'll start with Halloween. Here's a cute Halloween inspired cracker from the Monster Bash DSP. I added just ribbon on the ends and some cute little googly eyes because I love that accessory from the holiday catalog. And then I moved to like Thanksgiving 
let's say. I think it would be cute to do around your Thanksgiving table. Maybe inside you could put things you're grateful for or other people could and then you'd put them in and everyone could read them together. I really like this. These little feathers were so cute that Aubrey needed those added. So I added them for her because they were so cute. I also think this one could go for Thanksgiving. I love the copper elements for our holiday season, but for Thanksgiving, I think they work really well too. I added some little star embellishments here, and I did a little bit of surgery on this ribbon. I feel really sad that we don't have a copper ribbon because we have all of these beautiful copper foil designer series paper. I did a little bit of surgery on this ribbon. I took the Rococo Rose gathered ribbon here that we have that has this beautiful copper detail, but it also has Rococo Rose on the edge and that didn't work for my project. So I just trimmed off the edges. It wasn't too labor intensive, but look how pretty. We have this beautiful copper ribbon now. And I thought it was so fun. It makes it kind of flimsy and easy to tie. So it worked really well for this. Let me show you some other Christmas ones. This is from the plaid paper. It, this is a six by six size. And this is the night before Christmas designer series paper with the Santa hat. I like that one too. Here is the Let It Snow designer series paper. I added just some little red rhinestones here and I love this curly ribbon, it's so cute. And then we have this one that's a little more of a classic Christmas. And I love the way these ones turned out too. This is the same paper, just one side with the silver foil and one side with the scenes from the Feels Like Frost designer series paper. These are also a six by six size, so pretty. So I hope you've been inspired by this video to create some new holiday traditions for your family using your craft supplies. I know most of you probably have a good designer series paper hoard going on. This is a good thing to use your designer series paper on. If you need any of these products from the holiday catalog, please check out our blog at stampingjill.com so you can place your order. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday. Okay, I don't know if I should pull this apart. Should I? Ha, ha, ha.